So I'm Bernard Kimani. So okay, I'm uh, Joseph Koech. Okay. Uh, so you, I found you at the livestock section. Maybe which, which department are you? Like uh, maybe what are you in charge of? So uh, actually, I'm in, uh, in charge of uh, the okay. livestock livestock section. Okay. So okay. livestock section, we are dealing with the dairy. Okay. Also, we are dealing with the poultry. Okay. So here, mm -hmm. so we are dealing with uh, dairy animals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is a uh, that's a whole chain of uh, like you focused on milk production. So we are we are we are, we are dealing with uh, milk production. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you have only two sections in the livestock. That is poultry. And, uh, no, no. Also, we have uh, the section of uh, sheep. Okay. We have sheep oh, also. Right. So some dopper sheep. Yeah, we have dopper sheep. Okay. Welcome to Nandi County. This is one of the the main milk producing counties in Kenya. That is in the Great Rift Valley. We are at Kaimosi ATC. And I know most of you have heard of high yielding cows, a cow that you can milk for like 10, 15 minutes without exhausting the milk. You've been wondering, they exist? How are they blind? How do you get these breeds? How do you attain these goals of having or maybe attaining a vision where you can have the best cows as those that you can see behind? That's why I traveled all the way just for you. And remember, today's show has been sponsored by June Cow Glass and Australian Len Napier high crude protein for the best for your livestock feed. So here, I'm not the one giving the story. Of course, we mean So we have one of the managers or like the head of livestock division in this farm is going to give us an overview so that we know where did this all begin. Did they have a cow or maybe a cow that was giving two liters and it gave, it gave birth to this nice cow? They import the cows i think it's his chance to tell us the whole story stay there and subscribe to kilimo fighter tv so how are you sir i'm fine fine fine, fine. Uh, i'm requesting for um, for the benefit of our viewers you can maybe introduce yourself tell us where we are we'll come them to understand what you are doing here in this institution thank you so okay i'm uh, uh, just for so in charge of uh, livestock i'm the livestock officer mm -hmm. uh, this uh, kaimus here tc mm -hmm. So actually this is a livestock section. Mm -hmm. So in livestock section, mm -hmm. we are dealing with uh, dairy animals. Mm -hmm. We have the cows here. Mm -hmm. And also uh, livestock section is a wide area. Mm -hmm. So also we have uh, the sheep, mm -hmm. we have the dober breed, and we have the poultry. Mm -hmm. So those are the major areas that we are dealing in uh, livestock okay. section. That's great. So maybe to a new farmer maybe they would wonder is this a private organization once they hear of ATC is it a private organization a government institutional where are we thank you so uh Kaimusi ATC actually it's a government institution mm -hmm. so it's under Nandi County okay. it's a farmers training uh, center mm -hmm. so under the government county government of Nandi okay yeah that's thank great you. so it means it's a center to make farmers improve their breeds to to get what we we seeing here yeah so so here yeah. mm -hmm. we are actually training farmers mm -hmm. uh, to know how to raise their animals mm -hmm. so in terms of feeding mm -hmm. and the management uh, also mm -hmm. we are teaching them uh, in terms of breeding okay so that they can improve their breeds you know uh, farmers are facing uh, many challenges mm -hmm. some are still uh, keeping time that can produce 10 liters and above you see so uh, that one takes a lot of uh, a lot of improvement. So uh, first thing deals with the uh, feeding. Mm -hmm. We'll start so we'll start with breeding mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Breeding is the first thing mm -hmm. that the uh, farmer need to know. And then uh, second thing uh, issue of feeding mm -hmm. feeding the animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for our case here, we have a variety of feed. So we have a uh, Napier grass. Mm -hmm. Which is, so is that? We have the uh, Super Napier, oh. Junka, uh, the Pak Chung, Pak Chung one. Super Napier. Mm -hmm. And then we have a silage. Oh, okay. So tall seals uh, for silage. Okay. So and then we have uh, this field. So during uh, when the animals are well there, so they can graze here. Wow. 
Thank That's you. Amazing. Uh, like maybe before we get into details, like what is your height? I can see cows with very heavy udder. Yeah. What is the, the the amount of liters the high yielding cow currently is giving you as an institution? As an institution, currently we have an animal that produces uh, 40, 39 liters to 40 a day. Wow. A day. And it's within this herd? Yeah, within this herd. So, our Jeff um, followers, once we go to the to the little detail, inside the barn, you are going to see that cow that is giving 40 liters. And how did this journey begin? Like, when did this institution, especially the livestock or the daily section begin? And how, was the, how has the journey been? So, okay, thank you. So uh, this farm actually started in the colonial uh, in the colonial period. So it in 1956 up to now. Uh, but now we have started improving the breeds of uh, animals. At that time, maybe the production was still low. But uh, as we are talking now, we have started improving the production of the animals. So like how many lactating cows do you have? Like the ones that you need for? So uh, we have uh, 20 lactating animals. Yeah, I have 20 lactating animals. Wow, and on so, average, So, uh, average in a day, we have uh, 350 liters. Wow. Yeah. So, every day you're milking? So, we normally yes. milk uh, three times a day. Okay. So, we milk four in the morning, okay. 12 noon, and late uh, seven in the evening. Wow. Yeah, so we normally milk three times a day. Now, like how, how many cows do you have like in total including the heifers, the calves and all that? So I have a total of uh, 52 herd. Wow. Yeah. And they are within this institution today? So they are within this institution. Maybe these are the lactating only. Okay. So I have the heifers and all the dry animals. They, is, uh, they are feeding ext extensively. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and I have the calves mm -hmm. there. We are feeding them intensively. Yes, you know a calf to grow well. It depends on the feeding. So we normally uh, feed our calves uh, packet feeding. Okay. So feeding a calf, uh, there are two, two, two ways. So we have uh, early weaning. Early weaning takes only three months. So you win your calf. So and we have late weaning. So that one takes about four four months so that means so we're giving the, the calf milk for four months yeah for four months okay. yeah we are giving milk for four months and also we have uh, some concentrates that uh, we can add about for milk okay. so we have a uh, calf pellets and uh, also we can introduce uh, napier to, to screen uh, mixed with the uh, dry the uh, pomeros the hay that have been the uh, have been chopped so we mix and then we feed our calf. And uh, I believe uh, being a journey from the colonial time, it means the breeds has also taken time to improve. Yeah, it has like taken how, time. How have you been doing it? Is it maybe having specialized bulls, maybe importing semen? Like how have you been doing it? So uh, actually, uh, to attain the breeding, so we normally import uh, semen. Uh, we normally import uh, semen so that we can improve uh, breeding and now so in improving breeding you need to be keeping uh, records uh, for example this animal can give uh, can give part to a, a, a she calf so you will start from there uh, the moment you will serve uh, that she calf atakupatia a calf tena so you you keep on serving una 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 fuata hiyo line vizuri una fuata hiyo line vizuri una serve sex seven na nile important so kufikia hiyo stage ya ine so utakuwa umatain ile wanasema umatain ile breed wa juu eh yeah. so at, at that time uh, third uh, calf akiwa mkupwa Lasima kupatie 40 liters a day. So that's by the fourth, fourth generation. Cycle or the fourth generation. Yeah. At least you're targeting 40 liters. Yeah, 40 liters. So you want to tell me like the moment that you, you're training farmers as an institution. Yeah. You don't tell them to sell the indigenous cows. No, no, no. To improve. To improve. Yeah, we are teaching them to improve but not to sell what they have. Okay. Yeah.
I think the farmers you've been hearing this oftenly, and then you have heard it first hand yeah. from Kaimosi ATC. Uh, I'm seeing that the majority of the cows, I think 99% are Africa. Oh, 98% because I can see to Asia. Asia. So, what does that mean to you? Or like, uh, it does it mean they are the ones that are working in Nandi, or like, what's the, the decision that informed you to do so? Uh, Asia can assist you, you in many ways. So the butterfat content for Asia is so higher as compared to fresher. Well, uh, I know 52 cows seeing on the wachache. Yeah. Are there times when you sell some to farmers? Uh, yeah, there's a time that we can sell them to farmers. Okay. Yes. How often? Or like when do you do that? <laughs> in case maybe me and two farmers here watching me want to buy a cow from you? Uh, maybe. In a time of a uh, trend of three to four years, okay. so that's the time we, we can uh, dispose some of the animals. Okay. Yeah. So that means you're in the business of purely teaching people, not selling them. Yeah, we are not interested with in selling them. So we are. We want to teach the farmers mm -hmm. so that they can improve also their lives. And their where home. do you take the milk? Three hundred and fifty liters. Three hundred and fifty liters. Yes. So so uh, this one. We have some days that we can we organize an exhibition. For last year, we had uh, at the month of uh, October, we had an exhibition. But normally, when the farmer needs a uh, training, so he calls the institution. So we make an arrangement, and then we fix a date. So and then he can fix the we can visit the institution. So and then we can br 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 proceed with the learning. And because I know the economy is tough, yeah. uh, most of us farmers, we don't, we are not having a lot of money currently. Yeah. Do you charge us coming to land here? Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, we, we charge, but our charges <laughs> are friendly. Okay. Yeah, we, our charges are friendly <laughs> to farmers. Okay. We don't overcharge uh, a farmer okay. because uh, our mission is to teach those farmers so that they can improve their lives. Okay. So I think uh, you will give the farmers your last advice yeah. so that we can go to the meal section where we have the hard zone. We learn about milking, we learn about feeding, calf management, first hand from various experts we have within the institutions. Yeah. And I believe you farmers will really benefit. Maybe as you give them your last advice, you can also give them the number which they can call maybe to book a visit and all that. Yeah, thank you. So uh, my last advice to farmers so we as Kaimosi, so I will welcome you to Kaimosi so that uh, we can teach the farmers how to, uh, how to improve their breeds, how to keep uh, not only the dairy animals, but we have the poultry and we have the sheep. So here, uh, farmers will, uh, will have an opportunity to learn to learn uh, many ways of improving their animals and also the management practices they can, that they can introduce in their farms. So, na karibisha wa wakulima. So, wataesa kujifunza mingi eh, wakiwa kaimosi. Hata njia ya kutengenesa chakula, ya kuivadi chakula, na chua hiyo njia inakuwa changamoto kwa wakulima sana. So, for, kwa mfano tuko na silage, uh, tuko na nyasi na tuko na ile nyasi imetoka tu uh, imetoka mpya so tuna na, nataka waku wakulima na karibisha wakuje kaimose kwa mafunzo wape namba yako ama namba ya institution ambao wanaweza piga uh, namba institution yenye wanaweza pika so maybe i can give uh, my contacts yes. so 0725 389 447 Josfat. So welcome to Kaimos. Thank you so much. So that brings us to the end of this section. Now you really understand what we are here to do at Kaimos. I know you have a lot of questions. They will be answered in our subsequent sections. Stay there. We are going to learn together. I'm your host, the 